feline, canine, and sea mammals. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was... Are you recording this? Yeah. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a young maiden named Jaden. Jaden, Jaden the Maiden. Isn't that funny? No, well, that's what they called her. No, but... I want her name to be... Hey, whose story is it? You want to tell a story? No, I want, but I want her name to be... Um... Can it be a cat maiden? Well, you haven't let me get very far, but sure. Okay, the cat ma- maiden, maiden is named Bunny. No. Oh. The cat no, maiden, what is it? Um, Bitsy. Bitsy the bunny. Bitsy no. the bunny? No, Bitsy the cat. Oh, Bitsy the cat. Okay. So, Bitsy the cat was roaming around one day looking for food when she came upon a sight she had never seen before. It was a small lake surrounded by trees, and some of the trees had the strangest thing she had ever seen. It looked to her like fish were growing on the trees. What? And she thought, ho, oh, ho, ho, baby, jackpot, because, you know, they like fish. So the closer she got, she goes, wait a minute, those are tuna fish. That is my favorite fish of all. So as she got closer, she started running faster and faster she was so excited and running so fast her little heart was pitter pattering about to beat right out of her chest and then she got right to the edge of the forest and leapt out as fast as she could and bit right on to the first tuna fish she could find and she grabbed it and it plopped right off the tree and fell to the ground, flopping around, as fish would do. And she munched and munched and munched and munched, until she couldn't munch anymore. In fact, her belly was so full, now she kind of looked like the shape of a ball. She was so fat from fish, she started feeling like a little roly-poly ball. And she couldn't even move. She When she fell... Her legs were sticking up in the air, and she couldn't even roll over. She had so much fish in her belly. And so she just decided she's just going to lay there and enjoy that lovely forest that she found. She never wanted to leave. Well, wouldn't you know, another animal walking through the forest, a little brown furry animal with a big bushy tail, and beady little eyes was hunting for food himself. And he saw a little lake with a bunch of trees surrounding it. And hanging from the trees were little kitties. And he thought, oh, lunch. And so he started running and running and running and running. So fast, his little heart was pitter-pattering right out of his chest. And when he got to the edge of the forest, he leapt and grabbed one of those kitties and munched it down. And he ate until his belly was full. I know, it was. Well, the next thing you know... A big, giant whale. A killer whale. Swimming around in a lake, which is completely unheard of because lakes aren't salt water. And yet, there was this big killer whale swimming around. Also known as an orca. And he's swimming around, swimming around, swimming around. And he's thinking, I'm really hungry. But he didn't really see much food down there. However, he did see a fat little kitty cat and a fat little fox just sitting there on the shore rubbing their bellies. And 
and so he started swimming fast as he could. Fast, so fast, his little heart was pitter-pattering right out of his chest and jumped right out of that lake and gobbled up the kitty and the fox. But then he was on land and he didn't know how to get back. And he starts flapping around trying to get back and he thought, oh, well that wasn't such a good idea. And along comes a fisherman going to fish in the lake and he couldn't believe his eyes. There's a gigantic orca up on the lake. And he thought, how is that possible? There are no orcas in lakes. But what he did realize was he was about to catch the biggest fish of his life. So he ran down and got his net, and he tried to put the net around the orca, but it barely fit, because it was made for much smaller fish. So instead, he chopped the orca up and ate him right there. (laughs) I'm just kidding. He didn't do that. So instead, he went up to that orca and he said, what? are you doing here? And the orca said, well, um, if I'm being honest, I got a little greedy and I jumped off the, out of the lake to eat a cat and a fox who incidentally themselves ate tuna and a cat. Uh, so, mm, I probably shouldn't have done that. It was a poor choice. Can you help me? And the fisherman said, you know, Usually I catch the fish and eat them, but in your case, I think I'm going to give you an opportunity to do the right thing. And so he did. And the orca barfed up the fox and barfed up the kitty, who incidentally were still alive because he didn't chew them up, he just swallowed them. And the fisherman helped the orca back in the lake, and the fox... Sure. And then the kitty and the the kitty and the fox went to their own little home and went into the bathtub, turned on the warm water, and washed themselves off from the bar. Yeah, they did, because it was probably pretty slimy and gross, huh? And it was green. And green. So then they had to go into the shower. Mm-hmm. And and rinse it all off. And then they washed themselves. They did. Yep. And then the kitty and the fox, the kitty and the fox went to the, went to a camp, went camping and they met each other. And then they were, they hugged each other because they figured out that they were actually siblings. Oh, very good. Yes. And then the fox said, you know, I'm really sorry for trying to eat you. And the kitty said, yeah, that's cool. I ate a fish, so, you know, we do have to eat. And he goes, yeah, that's true. And from then on, they were the best of friends. There was a song made about them, Kitty and Fox, appropriately named. The end. Wait, a real song? Yeah. Kitty and Fox. Can I hear it? No, not tonight. Say goodnight. Good night, future self.